Hey guys, I'm back with another video. My name's Jason, and thanks for watching. Today I wanted to review this special fridge that I recently purchased on Amazon. I had a lot of people reach out about budget options, and a lot of my previous fridges were a little bit more expensive than people wanted to spend. Well, I found this. This is the Changemore E40W 12 volt compressor fridge. It has a ton to offer. Let's go ahead and dive in a little bit more about the details, the pricing, and what I love about this fridge. Okay guys, just got a notice from the power boat company. Power's out, it's gonna be out for a long time, so. I don't want my meat in my fridge going bad. So, this is a great reason to have one of these fridges. Yep, it's good to go. Okay, let's go ahead and plug it in. Turn it on. Okay, so I'm gonna run this fridge off my lithium iron phosphate portable battery. Should get over two days runtime. Let's go ahead and put the meat in there. Hey, whole thing's full of all my meat. It's a huge benefit to have one of these 12 volt compressor fridges. All you need is a portable battery and uh, you can run your fridge for quite a while. When power goes out, you don't lose your food. Okay, so just wanted to rattle off some of the basic specs of the Changemore E40W before diving into the deeper review. The price is set really good in my opinion for the build quality and what you get with the fridge. It comes in at $300 on Amazon. The capacity is 40 liters or 42 quarts. It weighs 39 pounds and basic power draw info 1.6 watts at idle when the compressor is not running. When the compressor is running on eco mode, pulse 43 watts. Max mode, pulse 72 watts, and it has the popular Chinese Waojun ZH25G compressor inside. Okay, so this is what comes in the box. You can get a very long extension cable for powering the fridge off a 12 volt socket. You get this uh, handy tool that allows you to install the handles on each side. You get two additional uh, rubber feet that go on the bottom, and you get a cloth that wipes down the fridge. You also get a small user manual that explains the basic functions of the fridge. Width of the fridge comes in at 28 inches with the handles installed. Height of the fridge comes right under 18 inches. Depth of the fridge comes right under 13 inches. So when you're buying a budget fridge, you don't ever know what you're gonna get. So when Amazon delivered this fridge and I took it out of the box, I was pleasantly surprised with the build quality. Um, first thing that uh, most companies will skimp out on is actually the lid or how it latches. And so right when I opened it up, I figured out that man, they did not skimp on the quality of this latch. It just has a very nice latching system, very nice spring-loaded uh, design here. And when you open it up, you can see that there's a small lip here where the foam can sit down and it has a very nice seal on it. So first impressions right away, the lid and latch are very high quality, uh, especially for the price. Uh, coming down here, you can see that there are these large handles, uh, heavy duty brackets, and they ha each have two screws. These are very large metal screws that go into the metal and the frame and really tighten down. Um, and also a metal handle that pivots so that it's easier to carry. The handles are removable, so you can take them off if you want to save more space. Overall, I've been very happy with the quality of the handles and the lid. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other side of the fridge. Okay, let's talk about the fridge control panel. When you first plug it in, you're gonna see this light that flashes, and that's just telling you it's ready to turn on. So to turn on the fridge, you press and hold the power button. It's gonna dis display the internal temperature of the fridge, and then you can push the plus or minus button to set the internal temperature. So let's go ahead and set this at 33 degrees. That's a really good temperature for this fridge. Once it stops flashing, it means the temperature set and this temperature will go down over time. If you want it to go down faster, you can go ahead and push that button to get it into max mode. White means max mode, green means eco mode. Okay, let's go ahead and look inside the fridge. First thing you'll notice inside the fridge is there are two areas for food. There's a large area and a small area. This little sticker refers to this side being the freezer and this side being the refrigerator. If you have the fridge set at around five degrees um, Fahrenheit, this side will be the freezer and this side will be uh, slightly warmer and be the refrigerator. So if you want to have a large refrigerator area, if you set the fridge at around 33 degrees, 
this will be your refrigerator side, and then this will be about 10 to 15 degrees warmer. Um, things that I've found that work really well for that side are produce, um, things that don't need uh, very high levels of refrigeration, yet this side um, you could put your, your dairy, your meats, things like that. This is a very common design. There's a lot of fridges that have this divider wall. Um, there are also some fridges that just are one large open area. Um, so you just kind of choose uh, your preference there. This does uh, work very well. Um, looking at the inside, you can see there's a metal liner on the inside of this large area. The evaporative coil comes right around the top of the fridge, and I believe the metal liner is more efficient because it allows the cold to transfer into the inside of the fridge much more efficiently than plastic. So thumbs up for having a metal liner in here. Um, another great benefit uh, that I see inside this fridge is it has a basket. Um, the, as these fridges get loaded up with food, um, they get very heavy, and so moving it around is quite a chore. So if you want to move the fridge around, um, you can easily take the basket out um, with the food in it. It'll lighten up the fridge significantly. You can move the fridge around where you want to, and then you put, you put the food back in. Um, another benefit to having the basket is it protects the sidewalls and the bottom if you happen to drop something. And the third benefit is if you happen to spill something, you can just take this out, rinse it off, uh, wipe everything down, wipe off the inside of the fridge, and then put it back. Um, you don't have to do a ton of shuffling around um, to get that taken care of. Um, you can see right here on the right, there's a LED light that has a switch on the top. The fridge isn't plugged in, so the LED light is not on, but uh, it is a bright light. It shines enough in here, and you can see great. It has this chain um, here to keep the lid from falling all the way backwards. Um, I think this is a great idea, so you don't get extra stress on the hinge of the lid. Overall, very happy with the inside of this fridge. I didn't think they cut any corners, and for being a budget fridge, uh, I completely see that this is uh, very competitive. Okay, I thought I'd throw in a two liter bottle for reference. Um, looking at the size of the fridge, uh, you can see that the two liter bottle still has about two inches of room above it, and you could fit an additional one here and two more here with still having spare room along this divider. Uh, this divider is also removable. You just pull this straight up and it allows you to have uh, more access to a large area. Okay, looking at the power panel, you can see that there's a 15 amp fuse, a DC 12 to 24 volt input. This is where you plug it in to power it and a battery protection switch where you can set it to high, medium, or low. And these settings allow it to shut off at certain voltages to protect your battery. Okay, I just wanted to take a second so that you guys could hear what the compressor and the fan sound like. I'll go ahead and put my microphone right next to the fan and compressor. I'll go ahead and move that about three feet away so you can hear what it sounds like from farther away. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with the sound of this fridge. It seems very quiet and I don't think people would be annoyed or unable to sleep if they were pretty close to this fridge. Okay, time to talk about the power consumption on this fridge. I like to test the fridge at two different temperature levels, a 70 degree test and an 85 degree test. At the 70 degree test, I had the fridge set at 33 degrees on the display and over about 48 hours of testing, it pulled 0.436 kilowatt hours. If we divide that by 48 hours of the test, that gives us an average of nine watt hours per hour or about 0.72 amp hours at 12.5 volts. The 85 degree test, I also had the fridge set at 33 degrees on the display and over 24 hours of testing, it pulled 0.504 kilowatt hours, divide that by 24, and that gives us an average of 21 watt hours per hour or 1.68 amp hours. Okay, so I decided to take off the side panel. I felt in order to do a proper review, I had to take this apart and look at uh, the internals of the, the fridge. It does in fact have the Wajun ZH25G compressor as advertised. It has a nice cooling fan. Everything looks soldered properly and connected. There are no loose wires, no loose screws. It has these really nice uh, support metal brackets to support this area and the build quality is as expected. Um, I definitely can still recommend this fridge. Everything looks nice and tidy behind the fridge panel. 
For anybody just getting into the hobby of 12 volt compressor fridges, I always recommend that you go out and purchase a portable battery pack like this. Uh, one of these can be charged many different ways. This one can be charged via solar, via 12 volt input, and it has a lot of other features that are real handy. The reason I recommend that is so that um, you don't end up drawing your starter battery down too low so that you end up being stranded with your vehicle. Um, yes, it's easy to run one of these on your starter battery in your car or SUV, but um, it's always safer to run it off a different battery. And so there are many of these on the market. Uh, this All Powers was one that I have a review on my channel. It's a great budget option. Um, you also have the Jackery series, the Goal Zeros, and even the Blue Eddies that are all available. They are a little bit more expensive, but they offer very similar features. Okay, guys, well, that's about the end of my review. I uh, just want to take a couple minutes at the very end and just give you some final thoughts and my opinion on the Change More E40W 12 volt compressor fridge. I never saw any weird issues with the compressor running, uh, temperature settings, or anything like that. So I'm actually pretty happy with this fridge, especially for where it's priced. One of the things that I thought was a downside about this fridge is it didn't come with an AC to DC wall adapter. So if you wanted to go out and buy one of these, there are some available on Amazon. I'll go ahead and find uh, the reputable one um, that's available. I'll put that in the description of the video below, but they're around uh, 15 to $20. You can find a decent quality one. And I think that would uh, easily uh, power this uh, 12 volt compressor fridge. Another thing I wanted to mention at the end of the video is when you're using a 12 volt compressor fridge, it's really important to know what the exact temperature is inside the fridge. So I'd recommend purchasing one of these uh, refrigerator thermometers and you just set this inside the fridge and it tells you exactly what the temperature is inside the fridge because sometimes uh, the display isn't 100% accurate. It's controlled by software, so it's just not exactly what's happening inside the fridge. And this isn't specific to this fridge, it's just any of these 12 volt compressor fridges, even the high quality ones, the temperature display may be a little off. So I always recommend purchasing one of these uh, refrigerator thermometers to make sure you know your food is at a safe temperature all the time. Well guys, that's about everything I wanted to cover with this 12 volt compressor fridge review. Hopefully you guys found this information helpful or even entertaining. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys later.